So as we continue exploring vector-based drawing inside of Photoshop, I'm going to ask you to delete any workspaces that you have, any work paths that you have. And here's a blank canvas once again. And at this point, I'm going to go back to that pen tool. And instead of looking at creating actual paths, I want to explore this thing here which says shape layer. Well, we're still drawing and we're still using the same skills that we acquired in that last tutorial about working with the pen tool. And remember, there's a number of shortcuts like pressing Alt to move handles and things like that. So let's say I create a very basic shape similar as to what I was doing in the last exercise. However, unlike the last exercise, I'm not just making a path, I'm actually creating a shape layer. And I'll just come in here and make that a little bit more rounded. Now choose your black arrow tool and look what you've got. You've got a shape, but this shape is something that you can move around, unlike the path that we had before. Well, we still have a path. That's one thing that we did create. But notice, now we also have a layer. And what is this layer? Well, really, it's just a mask. It's Imagine this entire layer is red. And what we drew is acting as a mask for that layer. For example, if I right click this and say disable temporarily, notice the whole entire area is red, but I am enabling a mask out of that basic shape that I created. So it's pretty interesting as you can see here, you can work with those basic shapes. And when you do so, as I'm doing here, this is something that you can move around like anything else. It's also something that you could double click on the icon right here and choose a different color for. As we saw when we were looking at pixel-based things, well, working with the pen tool or something like it is so much infinitely better than working with the fixed pixels for drawings because we can fill it in with a different color as I'm doing here. I can also scale it, Command T, I can make it smaller, which wouldn't really be a problem with pixels, but I can make it larger as I've done here. And look at these really nice smooth edges. And you don't like the color? No problem. Let's just come in here and choose a different color. Very simple to do. Simple, easy, effective. And this shape can be given an effect, a layer style, any number of different things to make it look the way it does. So that's what a shape layer is. And you can rename this, you know, call it puffy or whatever. And that's something that you can do very easily with the pen tool because, as you can see, you're making a shape layer out of the drawing that you've made. And you can use it inside of Photoshop however you like. So let's come back and learn a little bit more about some of the other things we can do with the pen tool, like working with some of these subsections and looking at how we can work with selections of that particular path.